The Battle of Irondale was a battle in the War of the Spanish Succession fought on 28 September 1708 near Irondale, Flanders, between an Allied force protecting a convoy for the siege of Lille and forces of Bourbon France and Spain. It ended in a victory for the Allies, leading to the taking of Lille. Prelude After their great victory in the Battle of Audenarda, Marlborough and Prince Eugene of Savoy decided to besiege Lille. But Lille was very well defended by modern fortifications designed by Vorbin and a garrison of 16,000 men. The Allied siege didn't go as well as planned and a lack of ammunition was imminent. To make things worse, the supply lines from the east were cut by the French, so the only remaining line of supply was by ship from England to the port of Ostend, some 75 kilometers from Lille. Marlborough ordered the necessary goods to be shipped to Ostend and a large convoy of 700 slow wagons was organized there to travel further overland, to Lille. The convoy was protected by 6,000 infantry and 1,500 cavalry under command of General Major Don Richmond Webb. The commander of the French garrison of Bruges, Count de la Motte, was informed of the convoy and gathered a force of 22,000 to 24,000 men towards Vinendale to intercept the convoy. The battle. Webb was aware of the advancing French army and knew a confrontation was unavoidable. He drew up a plan to compensate for his numerical disadvantage. Using the wooded landscape around Vinendale, he chose an open spot, flanked on both sides by woods and hedges. He placed his troops in two long lines, closing off this open space. Later a third line was formed with reinforcements coming from Audenburg. Meanwhile, behind these lines, the convoy continued slowly towards Lille. While Webb was deploying his troops, Prussian General Karl von Lottem, with only 150 cavalry harassed the approaching French army, gaining valuable time, and preventing de la Motte to gather knowledge of the terrain and the plans of the Allies. Having arrived at the open space, de la Motte, expecting an easy victory, deployed his army as expected. Between 4 and 5 p.m. the French artillery opened fire. When de la Motte saw the effects on the enemy were limited, he ordered his infantry forward. The large French force was hampered by the narrow terrain and suffered badly from the fire of the Allied first line, which held its ground. Then Webb ordered the Prussian, Hanoverian and Dutch regiments who were hidden in the woods on both flanks to open fire. Despite suffering heavy casualties, de la Motte ordered a second attack, which initially pushed the Allied first line back. But with the help of the second line and the continuous fire from the flanks, the French were stopped and forced to withdraw and leave the battlefield. When the battle was as good as won, Allied cavalry under command of William Cadogan arrived at the battlefield. He was sent from Lael by Marlborough, who was worried about the convoy. Aftermath the toll of this two-hour battle was heavy. 3,000 to 4,000 French and Spanish soldiers were killed or wounded. The Allies lost 900 dead and wounded. The convoy reached Lille intact on 29 September, allowing the siege to continue. Three weeks later, on the 22nd of October, the city was taken. For political reasons, Marlborough gave in his initial dispatch the credit for the victory to William Cadogan, also a Whig. From this point onwards Webb became the centre of Tory agitation against Marlborough. Source. Relation de l'Action qui se passe à Winnendale le 28. De septembre, 1708. Entre un corps de troupes des Allais, commandé par le Major General Webb, and L.A.R.M. Q.T. des François, commandé par le Comte de la Motte, Brassel, Eugene Frick, 1708, Winston S. Churchill, Marlborough, His Life and Times, Book 2, The University of Chicago Press, 2002, Chap. 26, Winnendale.